Hey, it's Chris. Um, we have a new video for you today. Uh, it's the day before Christmas holiday, so uh, we have a new job that came in. It's, um, it's a MacBook Pro Retina, and um, these are very difficult to recover from. Um, the failure on this particular laptop was the SSD, um, and uh, this is, these are PCI Express SSDs, and, and when those drives start failing, they will fail very quickly, and uh, there's no tools out there that can read these drives right now. There's only one tool out there, and it's the Deep Spire Imager, DPI. Um, this is the addition to their DDI Imager. To plug the drive in and read it, uh, you can play out with the options, and, and uh, data can be recovered from these drives. Um, I'm gonna spin the camera around in a second and, uh, and show you guys what's involved in recovery. Uh, this, uh, and explain everything that's happening. So uh, here's the drive uh, that's been taken out of this MacBook. And uh, it goes into this holder, and once it's in this adapter, uh, we simply slip it into um, uh, DeepSphere Imager, power on the machine, and uh, we can start DPI and start imaging. So you're gonna start DPI. We also need to. Uh, so the drive shows up. Um, actually, when when the drive was uh, taken to a few other recovery places, uh, the drive was not showing up for them. And this is the, the reason for that is because the drive is already past that point. Um, and the worst thing is, the longer the drive idles, the worse it's going to get. So um, it's a good thing uh, she brought it here right away, the customer. Um, otherwise, we probably uh, we wouldn't recover this drive. Uh, but good thing is the drive is still reading. So. Um, so here's the drive. I'm just gonna continue on. It's gonna save a few things. Uh, some companies, okay, that's yeah, good. So, so far we have 271 on red, and uh, we're just gonna continue on reading. Hopefully, this drive doesn't die uh, before we're done imaging, because this drive is encrypted. And this drive is encrypted uh, by um, Firevault, so. We're gonna have to probably uh, recover the entire drive, and hopefully uh, we're gonna be able to. Uh, right now we're only at seven percent. Um, the drive's going very slowly, so I'm probably not gonna finish this video till um, tomorrow. Hopefully before the New Year's. Um, I'll catch with you guys when this is done. So the drive is still imaging. We're at seven percent. Uh, it's not going overly fast. I mean, three meg megs per second. That's uh, well, it's just dropping sometimes too. Uh, but I think three megabytes per second is the best we can get. We can get for this uh, this type of drive uh, with that many problems. And you can see there was uh, multiple issues in these areas. I've actually went back to these areas here and I reread them. So we are going to be able to read those because um, the the number was actually a lot higher than that uh, number of unread. Uh, but it's moving pretty good. So um, this will take some time and babysitting because the drive is going to lock up um, after about. 20 minutes of imaging. Uh, I've already seen this few times when the drive will lock up and all you're gonna see is aborts here. And in that case, we have to stop it, shut the drive down for at least good 20 seconds, and then restart it. Uh, I'm gonna play around with DPI and maybe I can get it to um, to do this on its own. Uh, I know that uh, DeepSpark support mentioned changing few options that um, uh, alleviate these problems. So we'll keep our fingers crossed for this recovery. So it's been uh, three days since we started the recovery on that um, MacBook here. Uh, this is the Retina with the uh, failed Samsung SSD. Uh, we were actually able to recover all the data. There was, I think, 5,000, no, 3,000 unread blocks um, copied it to this drive here. Um, this drive, the data is encrypted uh, by, uh, uh, by the Apple encryption and also is a, the new file system EPFS. So um, I had to use uh, one of my Macs here to to decrypt it, it's fairly straightforward. Plug it into a Mac. Uh, it will ask you for the uh, user password for for this user. Enter it. It will mount, and you can copy it. Um, so the data is copying right now to a USB thumb drive. Uh, since then, uh, we had another one that came in. Uh, this is a 512 gigs. Uh, I started this one earlier, but it's having giving me some issues. So I have, I'm gonna have to play around with the options a little bit. This one is actually freezing quite quite a bit. So. We try to cycle the power back and forth on this on this drive. Um, it, it's having some problems, so I might add to this video 
uh, after New Year's, uh, how this recovery is going. I don't want to leave this running uh, until we come back on Tuesday because I don't want this drive to die. Because as I mentioned previously, these drives, just leaving them idle, just leaving them simply plugged into power may cause them to fail. So uh, because he's on his last legs, I don't want to take those chances. So we're going to probably uh, put this away for now until we come back on Tuesday. And then we're going to start over again. Um, I know some of you might wonder, can we do chip up on these? No, we can't. Um, I don't think chip off ever is going to be available for solid state drives, especially these kind of kind of drives, M2s. Um, the reason being is encryption and, and other problems. So uh, this is the only way of doing it is to actually try to image it, and hopefully we can get it going. Um, I don't know how much this drive was worked by another company before it came to us, but. Uh, all we can do is try and hopefully we'll get this data and this one is also encrypted um, by FileVault, Apple's encryption um, so you know hopefully you can get it but um, let's see what happens after Tuesday so now it's Friday uh, it's been over a week since we've been running this I just put this drive back on uh, this is the 500 gig this is the one this is the second one that we're recovering um, in the last uh, two weeks this one is struggling it's, it's going really really slow uh it's just repairing now it does, these are the resets and uh these are some phantom unread blocks and these are not real unread blocks it's just a controller um it's having a problem um giving us the data so this drive even though there's some data here i don't think it's anything usable this is probably still encrypted uh so the drive is slowly going this will take a lot a long time it says more than a month uh, hopefully not, but uh, it probably is. Let's get back to the other drive we just recovered. So uh, here's the drive plugged in to my MacBook. And um, I already entered the password and uh, here's uh, the APFS volume encrypted. Um, it is already decrypted because um, I've entered a password, like I said, it's in my keychain. Uh, but there is the customer's data. So that's that, that's the recovery finished. Uh, we, we did what we can. Uh, we got pretty lucky on this particular 250 gig drive because we did recover it. Um, DeepSpark did uh, warn us when we bought this equipment that uh, the success rate is very low, it's 20%. So those drives that we do get, it's a very good thing. And um, out of few drives that we got, uh, I, I guess our success rate so far is 50%. Uh, we're just running another drive now, which is a 512 gig and that's gonna take some time. Um, we're only at 2%, it's been a few days. Uh, it's after New Year's now, so uh, it's gonna take some time, but it is, it's going. Um, it, it's, it might l run as long as two, three months, because uh, that's how long in, in their testing, that's what they got. Uh, so hopefully this won't take that long, but if it does, it does. As long as we can recover the data, uh, we'll be happy. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. Uh, we're gonna have another one coming up soon.